Old Guy Talks is all about creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Opt in now. Certified official old guy at oldguytalks.com and creator of myjunkdoesnotwork.com. You heard that correctly. Myjunkdoesnotwork.com where I help older men find out what their option is to treat erectile dysfunction with cutting edge medical therapies. If you are a man who suffers with erectile dysfunction or no one that does, well, the answer you're looking for may be there. If you like this video, then don't just like it, share it. So my question to you today is, are you willing to pay the price? Are you sure? You know, quite often we start things and uh, we don't finish them. And that is actually the worst thing you can do is start something that you don't finish because it sets a bad precedent and uh, it sets a bad behavior and kind of messes up with your mind and allows you to quit on things. So about six weeks ago, I started a big marketing training and uh, I knew it was going to be a lot of work. Quite frankly, I didn't realize how much work it was going to be because it's taking up a lot of my time. It's, it's taking up a significant amount of time during the day, not only doing the training, but actually doing the exercises. Because quite often we listen to stuff, you know, listen to something on the, uh, you know, uh, used to be tapes, but now, you know, basically podcasts, things like that. And we don't take action. We just kind of listen to it, expect things that are gonna just happen on their own. Well, that doesn't work that way. You have to put in the effort. You have to do the exercises. You have to go through all the stuff like the workbooks and the, and the exercises that people have you do and produce results, produce content like I'm doing here. So part of the program is producing content in different forms. One of them is copy. I'm not very good at writing. As a matter of fact, I don't really like it that much. So I do it the first thing. That's one of the first things I do is create that copy. And then I polish it a little bit up, put it in Word, uh, put it in a Word document, check spelling, because the old guy is dyslexic. And he can't spell, can't punctuate either. And uh, so do that. And then creating audio, which I post. I love doing that. Video, I love. I love being on video. And, uh, but I know that there are things that I can learn. There are things I can do better on video. That I can communicate better with more energy. And then we do photo shoots. That's right, I did a photo shoot. The old guy did a photo shoot here in Las Vegas. And I learned a few things. Basically, out of about 400 pictures, we got about 10 or 15 of them that are good. I learned that you gotta make sure your collar is straight, that your clothes aren't bunched up. Let alone worry about my hair. That's a whole different topic. That's a whole topic for a whole nother video about what I can do with my hair. But when you start doing this, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and you have to put yourself out there. You have to put yourself out there when you are, well, not very polished. And you, the only way to get better is by doing reps, by continually putting content out there and getting your message out. And I'm determined to get my message out and to be a better marketer, both in getting the message out and creating the message. Too often, we see people, we see people that have been successful and we see the highlight reels of their life. We don't see the work that went in. We don't see the time and effort, the struggles that they went through, the self-doubt, the challenges that they had to overcome, the obstacles, the assholes that they had to deal with. All of that, all of that is often omitted and we only see the person who wins the race. And that's the one who remember. We don't remember a person that comes in second or third, but we only see the person that wins the race. And we underestimate the amount of effort that it took to do something. So where in your life, so where in your life have you basically started something, totally underestimated what effort it would require, and stopped? And how can you avoid doing that in the future? This is Oris the Old Guy from www.oldguytalks.com, helping older guys create kick-ass lives for themselves and those that they love. And remember, if you suffer from ED, go to myjunkdoesnotwork.com. That's right, myjunkdoesnotwork.com. If you are interested in creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love, then become a member at oldguytalks.com and get access to the cave area where not only 
do I have my interviews with doctors on cutting edge therapies for erectile dysfunction, but, 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 but I will have other things that are posted in there that will help you create that kick-ass life that you want for yourself and others. And we're going to be talking a lot about different kinds of vices and virtues. So opt in and become a member.